Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs, my own extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the video just gives good vibes, you know, please go ahead and share that. So, you know, somebody else can get the good vibes and insight, you know, and whatever you get, they can get it too. Plus, even going further, it'll greatly be appreciated. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. So, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. I know I did that backwards, hey, hey, okay, vibe, hey, okay, vibe, you know, don't get me. Okay, the video I'm going to do today is called Twin Flame 101, hey, okas, be savage, not average, you know, what's unfolding you weren't prepared for, you know, you you gone through so much. You've gone through so much and you know you've healed from so many different things. You have so much that... You can offer not just yourself, but you're offering the world, you know, and it's just like all the time I had that mindset. Let me be able to get a blessing where I can be able to bless other people. You know, you, you got a purpose to where you can show somebody you can go through this and this and that. But it's of your choice. You can either allow certain things to take you down under with the undertow or you can allow this to glide you and you go towards the sunset and go any further, you know, and you see the experiences you went through you've seen the highs you've seen the lows and they always tell you you know and there's a lot of videos and a lot it's not just on youtube but i've seen it on different social media and i'm like dad that really hit the heart when you can say i wasn't at the time if i would have got that yes I wouldn't have been able to appreciate it when I finally, you know, when I constantly got the nose and not yet or, you know, it, it wasn't denied, but it was delayed. You know, we get frustrated with stuff like that. If I would have got it, then I wouldn't have been able to make it the way I'm making it now because it was just so many different things where I've seen so many people show, you know, um, where they said, you know, they were disciplined, you know, when, when you when you do things. And you, you keep it, you know, you keep believing in yourself. Because a lot of times, you know, you just don't make it, you know, overnight. You know, and there's some people actually do, you know. And sometimes they make it and sometimes they don't. But it's just like if you're going through things and you're still going through there, there's a purpose that is is still holding on to that. And a lot of times when we're going through different things, they'll make you want to give up. It'll really make you want to give up. And it will just make you like, ugh. You know, I can't keep going through this. And it's just like, there are certain things that universe is saying, I still got to, you still got to experience this. You still got to learn this. You still got to heal from this. I want you to be able to do this. And a lot of times they tell us, you know, yeah, you may want that, that you want that, the gusto right there. But then it's just like, if it's given to you so easily, you won't be able to appreciate it. Because it's like, whatever God, universe, and, you know, everybody, you know, because we those generation, we break it, we the rebels. Okay? We the rebels. You know, we still going straight savage right now because we're the ones who got chosen to break all these curses that has been going on, going on, going on. So, it's just like, when you're going through that, you're not just healing from the things that you're going through just from this lifetime, but multiple lifetimes that went back. You know, whatever you, whatever your problem is right now, this is the same problem you had when every other life that you have, even from the parallel entities that you're dealing with, because you ain't the only one right here. Because you know, it, it's crazy when I hear it, because it's like parallel entities. You got to understand how many daggone times might come to you, dad, you look so familiar. You look like somebody to me, and I'm like, you know what? We all got a twin out there, you know. And you're going through different things, and it's just like you can't get. You, you can't enjoy that blessing right here. You can't embrace the good and appreciate the good if you had never went back down. You know, there's a lot of time people have gone through major success that really didn't have to go rock bottom. But that's, you know, and that's a blessing too. And, you know, and they still, they still appreciate that. There was just like a lot of my times while I was sitting back and I was watching different videos I was guided to. Or watched different movies I was guided to. It showed me where... There was this girl I like 
her name is DJ Duffy, and she showed, you know, just on IG how she used to start it. Like she was in her house, you know. You, I think it was like a little turntable she had on her, on her computer that she was doing, you know, the mixes and stuff like that. I'm like, dang, she really went back, and, you know. And this is right before anybody ever gave her a chance to. Now she doing it where it's like, um, I forgot. It's kind of like Coachella and stuff like that, you know, where she's doing big groups now, and she's like. I, I'm showing you where I first started, you know, even where people are, you know, high end stylists, beauticians and stuff like that. They, it was just people that knew them from, you know, knew them from the hood, the neighborhood. And it was just people that made it big and say, hey, you know, I got you. And there are some people, you know, that they got it good and they try to forget about where they came from. But they're just trying to say, I don't want you to be like that. But if you do, I want you to see how that person don't went from. Zero, uh, the hero to zero real quick just because they you know they didn't think that they, anything could go wrong but that's not that's not your journey that's not your purpose you're going through things and what you have faced what you have healed what you have you know you keep continuing to do what you keep overcoming what do you keep accomplishing what you keep conquering that is what gives you that purpose to know you are savage you are not here to be average you know, and there's a lot of people that are okay with just being that way because some people are like, you know, I'm comfortable with being like that. It's got me this way for so long and make, you know, and there'll be things like maybe that works out for you, but I want a lot more for my life. And it's not saying, you know, that person is like, Ugh, whatever, if that's what being and they're comfortable with being like that, that's fine. But if I know I want more for my life, you know, I, I might do this. I might be, you know, I'm doing all my videos and stuff like that. And then for a while I was doing my videos. Then I started doing my, you know, my, my podcast. And then it was just like you never know what God universe may have for you two quarters down the line. But I'm being open to that because it's like I've met a lot of interesting people that way. I've learned a lot of different things. You know, I've added more to my repertoire when it comes to my vibration, to my spirituality, to my purpose, my metaphysical, my physical, my spiritual. You know, all these different things. And it's just like being able to be, you know, I've always been that type of person. Like if I was asked a question, I will always you know, uh, I was always the goofball, the class clown. But if you ask me on some serious stuff, you know, some real deep stuff, I'll blow you out the water with that. And people are like, girl, where did that come from? I was like, I don't even know I shot my own self. You know, and we, you know, we'll just be laughing at it. But it'll be just certain things that I would say, even it would shock me. You know, when we say things, and I said that's what makes us special. That's what makes us unique because we all are not robots. You know, we're not not all we're all not robots anyway. But we all don't have the same thought process. That's what I meant to say. Um, that we we have different ideas, and there's different things. You know, even when it's people you're connecting with, and you have a good experience or a bad experience, this is going to connect to add more towards that. You know, and that's what makes you know even a person is just learning about themselves and they're just like I'm just trying to find my way through my 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 um my purpose you know because I love being able to connect with y'all on that um in any kind of way I can and it's just like you know I'll, I'll the main thing I hear Rosalind this may sound crazy no it don't <laughs> I was like, go ahead and tell me but no it don't and nothing crazy to me because I've heard a lot of different things in it because it's just like I don't like using that word because it may dim somebody make make somebody feel like well if I say this that person or this person might judge me and I'm just like I'm trying to be at that point where I've experienced that where somebody has shot me down when I, I've had different admirations of my life where I dream this or I wanted to do this with my life so then it's just like when I experience those things I try to make sure I don't put nobody through those situations because I know what that made me feel like or if I've done that to somebody because there's times that I've hurt people there's times that I've triggered people and I'm learning you know, and I'm working on myself, you know, I say I forgive others as I'm hoping others will forgive me, you know, and just allowing myself to critique myself, you know, uh, you know, build my character on that, you know, being able to say that because, you know, there's a lot of times it takes a lot of boldness to get away from your pride to say, you know what, I don't messed up or, 
you know, or I apologize. You know, you know, because I remember I put that post up one time that that little uh, YouTube short. Everybody grown until it comes to being honest, communicating, and telling the truth. Yeah, I know sometimes some folks aren't like that. You're not saying you ain't grown when you're doing that, but it's just a certain thing where you know you don't hit that point where you can op you can admit that you made a mistake, or you can admit you know that was a real weak moment of mine. You know, and it's not like you're downing yourself, you know, like that. But it's just like you're, you're being honest. You're keeping it real, you know. And it's just like a lot of times we feel like we got to prove a point by really telling people this and this and that. And it's just like when we do that, it's like we're, we're looking for uh, external validation, you know. And it's just like with me. I, I use my purpose and my purpose is like y'all are my like my my spiritual diary on being able to say certain things and being able to say you know I, I experienced this and you know I was learning how to heal and I was learning how to uh, uh, critique myself on learning what words to say and what not to say if I want to grow if I want to stop my growth I can say everything in a negative way but if I'm trying to prosper allow myself to say things like if I attach I am you know when you're doing your mantras or you're doing your affirmations I am and attach the positive or you know um say one good thing about yourself today or what what thing that you feel like there's something about you that other people don't know that find very interesting about you and that's what that's creating that savage vibration within you because you're allowing yourself to define yourself not by what you went through but what you conquered what you're conquering what you are overcoming you know what you're transpiring to make and that's what's making you savage you know because a lot of times it's like back in the day when you you savage savage was such a a narrative you know now it's just like bad man you being serious that is just straight savage you going fierce about it you ain't allowing nothing to stand in your way you conquer obstacles every time a challenge come to you you ain't never bowing down to it you allowing yourself to go ahead and you're like okay what else you got you know and then we're like yeah well, okay, what else you got you know and then it's just like okay this is frustrating I got to do this. And it's like, no, don't say I got to do this. It's like I'm getting that opportunity to do this. And then it's just like, you know, you're allowing yourself to not put a negative narrative on something you have to do. Because when it is doing it, it seems like it's forceful. And a lot of times I would always use that excuse. Well, they always said if I don't like doing it, I shouldn't force myself to do it. And it's just like. You shouldn't do that. Anything that you know you don't feel like doing may be that direction, that right direction. It may take you further than you ever expected. It's like when you be surprised, when you want to be surprised, let me see what I can push myself to do. Because there will be certain times when I do my videos and I'm just like, mm, I ain't like how that sounded. And it's not like I'm worried about what other people are saying. I'll, I'm. It's, this is my character. You know, I'm representing. This is something somebody can go back on. You know, because you be different on a different reality show. I didn't say that. Oh, well, you know how everybody is nowadays. You can wear one shirt. Somebody can wear that shirt. And then somebody can have a shirt like that. And you just saying you went with that person. It's like, hey, well, October 31st first on the 5th of the ninth day, such and such wore this shirt. And you said you didn't like it. Now you wearing it today. And this is like 10 years down the line. You know, people are good at that. I'm like, God, dog, you really ain't got nothing to do, do you? You know, and I've seen how people do that. And I'm like, I really don't understand. I said, y'all must be getting paid to do this because there ain't no way. You know, because I'll be looking at stuff like, oh, somebody done made a fashion trend. I'm like, y'all really making a big deal out of that. But, you know, it's just like that may be their job to do that. Especially like if you're out on pop culture and people and stuff like that okay they're getting paid to do that then i can understand that some people they just ain't got nothing to do you know so it is just like you're creating you're unfolding something into your life that is so unexpected it's going to be so out, out the norm because like i said before it is like there'll be different outlets i can go to and people are like don't you feel like there's something big coming or you know you sitting right here on the cliff. You know how they say God is either going to push you off that cliff. He's going to teach you how to fly. Or he's going to catch you. And that's right now you don't know what directions you're going through. Because it's like when you allow yourself. They even say write down the little accomplishments you got. It's like Christina Perry got that song. And I mentioned that before. 
your tiny victories. You posed it when you allowed yourself, like if you met a depression, you allowed yourself just to walk down the hill, go down the hill, and come back up the hill just to even check the mail. You write that down because it's like with a man of depression, you don't want to get out of bed in the morning. You don't have self-care. There's some people don't brush their teeth. Some people don't wash their behind. And they just, it, it, you know, be binging, you know, and sitting down there. Especially when the pandemic came, we, we got too comfortable. You know, you didn't have to go nowhere. You know, especially if you're an introvert. Oh, shoot. That's a normal everyday thing for me. There's you know, some people, oh, my God, you know, I got to stay in the house and watch it. I'm like, oh, I, I do that every day. And now, you know, people are like, now people are, you know, coming up and asking you, yo, hey, what do you do? How, I mean, how did that work? You know, you be okay with it? Okay. You know, be something like that. And it, it, it's just like, this is where you you getting that savage vibe from. Because you're allowing yourself to be adventurous. You know, and you stepping out, you're doing things that, you know, they don't seem you got to force it. So I'm like, oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. Like they said, don't, don't do that. When you're like, I get a chance to do this. Even though you may not be in through like, ugh. Well, it's just your, your verb. Because it, it could be just like certain things that I didn't do. And I end up turning around doing it. And at the end of that, I'd be so proud of myself. Sometimes I'd be having tears of joy because it was just like, you know, that heaviness can really get to you. Especially if it is it's around a certain time or you just going through a funk. You know, it could be an anniversary you're dealing with that comes around every year that, you know, you just get very low. Or it's just like, you know, with all the changes that's going on in the atmosphere, it got us like irritable or it got you just real happy and just just being grateful that you're still here breathing. There are some people like, I just wish I could just lay down and croak, you know, and stuff like that. And, you know, and it's just like you get vibes like that and it's sad because... You know, you're going through so much and sometimes it's hard for you to get out that funk. But even if you it, even if you do one or two things that's out the norm for you, you are you are connecting with your savage vibes. And universe is like it's always been there. We just had to explore it to be able to see it for ourselves. It's like, you know, you powerful, you courageous. Cause there'll be different times where you going through some weak stuff, you know, and you really feel weak. And other people are just like Yo, you don't know how strong you are. You don't know how you inspired me. And that's why a lot of times when you you could be speaking to yourself and that you don't know that's confirmation to be able to show you. You don't know. Just your 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 presence can really inspire somebody to be so much greater. And you be like, "My life ain't this. I was like that." You know, and then when I go back and read a lot of the comments that y'all leave me, you know, there's a lot of time I don't told y'all I don't sat here and cried. I don't cried on video with y'all being here, and it's just like y'all carry that that um, vibration where I know you've been through a lot of stuff. There'll be certain things that you may have not told nobody that you face in battles that nobody know that you're fighting every day. But just for you to wake up today and say, you know what? It's a hard day, but I'm going to try to find something good out, out of it. That's where it's showing you. You slaying some stuff. You slaying out of that norm. Because there's a lot of times you can be in that funk. A lot of times you can be in that funk. And that negative energy will be on you. And, you know, and it can be, you know, a lot of the things that's going on right now where you're hearing a lot about spiritual warfare. You're dealing with that. You know, and it's just like when you're allowing yourself to just do one thing that's out the ordinary and you just start doing two things that, you know, you can start doing something one one day and then it's just like you doing it every day for the next couple of days. And then like after the third or fourth day, you add two more and you add two more because a lot of times it's like when you keep on saying I can't do this you making that reality for yourself and it just say you know what I'm going to try to go ahead and do my best out of this and I may surprise myself it's all about way our vibration on our mindset is going how are we going to create that change of reality if we change the way we speak of ourselves we change the way we see ourselves we change the way we see other people you know because a lot of times we see stuff you know, out in the world, and it's like all that glitz and glamour. It's like, oh, I wish I could have a life like that. You don't know. That person may be conquering hell worse than you may be going through, but they're not showing that. That's why they always tell you, don't be, you know, especially like when it was coming to them at time with the 2 2 portal, 2 2 2 portal, and um, I forgot what, what else was it that was coming down. It was something like it was coming major back to back to back to back, and they were telling you, hey, stay off social media. 
You know, don't be watching all this crazy stuff. Stay away from the news. This is that time to self-reflect. Go into solitude and isolation. Because it don't take that much to trigger you off into going 20 steps back. When you don't went a thousand paces forward. And this is that time where it's showing you. Stay being savage. Stay, you know, keeping your own self guessing. You know, be, you know, be uh, excited about it. Sometimes when you're going through stuff, it's hard to be excited. I know. You know, but it's just like, you know, when I put on some music, you know, and they always tell you it's about your choices. It's just like you're, you're consuming that. You know, because a lot of times I love watching horror movies. I love watching crime, de you know, documentaries. But then there'll be those ones that I got to switch it up like, ugh. I really don't like comedies no more, but then I'll watch Medea. Medea is funny as hell. I'll be watching her. Or the other day, I was watching Lake Placid, the first one. Now, them, the, the ones that kept reoccurring after that, I don't understand what they were doing. You know, Bill be one, those other ones, like I had to warn myself yesterday. I was watching The Call, and I said, you know what? You are way too woke to be watching stuff like this because you're going to get pissed off. Anybody who ever watched the call with a Holly Bear being that 911, you know, operator, I said, number one, anybody who's like that, I really feel like they need to be getting paid way much more because they got, you You can't be physically attached to it. And I said, I can't do a job like that because I get very personal. You know, I get very personal because you don't know what goes on. And I used to listen to like the 911 calls. I don't even listen to those anymore because it's just when I got way too woke, I started seeing it. And when I start seeing that, I start consuming it. And I don't need to be walking around like that. I really don't. I got enough of my own problems. I ain't trying to deal with something like that. Mm -mm. But I had to really start changing the way I start doing things, you know, and that's what you have to do. You know, if you want that mindset to be able to do that, because there's a lot of times you can look at somebody doing it and you can get bitter, like, be bitter Betty. Why they got all these good things going? You can't get mad if you ain't work for it. Don't false work for that. You can't get mad about that. And it'll, it'll be that one thing that'll get me up off my butt. You know, and I'll see that and I'm like, thank you. And I'll tell, and the universe is like, that's okay. We guided you towards that anyway. You know, you were in that funk and we needed you to watch something. When you see somebody, you know, that's going to that next level and dealing with different things and stuff like that. And then you seeing how they had to work hard. They were persistent. They were consistent. You can't be jealous off of something like that that somebody worked their butt off of. You can't get mad if you didn't put the work in to do it. You know, you can't be the work. You can't be in there like that. There's a lot of different things that people do, and I ain't getting on to that. But I'm just saying, when you allow yourself to do stuff like that, and you're doing good, and you're working consistent, you being consistent, you get up the next day and say, "Hey, I'm about to do it again, but I'm gonna add more to it." They're telling you recognize your inner savage. Something is unfolding that you weren't even prepared, prepared for. But when they see that you starting to do that, and you ain't, you're not working, you know, because sometimes like is today yet. Are we there yet? You know, you're like a little kid when you're trying to get there. Are you there yet? Stop asking for that. They always say don't um don't don't watch the the the, the what is it? Don't watch the seed of the heart of uh, of the day of you know when is it coming up? But just watch the fruit of your harvest when you're sowing it. When you know you you sowing a lot of good things, you gonna reap some very healthy things. And a lot of times you can put some mystery seeds in there. Universe will bless you with some mystery seeds, and you just don't even know what you plant. You know, just because of the stuff that you're going through, just because of the things you're experiencing, you going through some stuff, and you may be, you may have got your mindset for one thing, but just for the fact that you don't face some stuff, even though you're on the verge of giving up, and you just said, "Let me go in a different way about it. Let me get more enthused about it. If I change this direction and go on this way, and that's what universe is like. See you seeing this. This is why you changing." You changing up the dynamics about things. You getting out of that paradigm and all that junk that's going on. And you allowing yourself to create your... You got this blueprint, but you building on a different foundation. That other foundation wouldn't have built up to nothing. Like, you know you don't want to come up into a building and they telling you you got to go all the way to the 155th floor. And this mess is roaring one way and going, oh, heck no, I will not. He's like, where are you going? Right here. <laughs> I ain't going up in that building because that mess don't seem steady. You had to be on that. Because that, at one period, we were, that building was going all over here when this when went this way and we went this way. That's why everything, you know, it felt like your life is getting torn apart. It was. It's getting torn, 
torn apart from the illusions or what you thought your life should should have been or what you listened to somebody that added their ideas on that to where you should have been that because we unprogramming ourselves from the programs we were set. We are allowing ourselves to set new bars of admiration and stop allowing ourselves to hold ourselves back on um, limited beliefs to get away from, you know, everything is unlimited. I'm, I'm allowing myself to set a bar that it don't have a limit to it because I was programmed to say I couldn't go further than this. Now I'm up here. I'm starting a new, we're starting that new generation up for that. And that's what's so exciting about that. That's why things come so hard for us because we're setting a new bar that wasn't supposed to be set. It wasn't, it, it was set for it not to be set in our lifeline. Now it's changing and that's why all hell breaking loose. You see it. it. Ain't nothing normal about the stuff that we're going through. But it was written to say it was going to happen. If you want change, it's going to have to be this way. Ain't nothing just going to be handed to you. You know? And I mean, it's a blessing if it does get that way. But when it's not where you had to earn that, you had to work hard, blood, sweat, and tears, and add more into that, you just pouring it all up into there. You know? And building that foundation of where that structure is not to be messed with. That's some kind of Teflor type stuff that you can't even, you know, Godzilla couldn't break that. That's what kind of stuff that you're going through. And then when it's something like that that Godzilla can't even destroy, oh, trust and believe, you about to go through some hellish stuff. <laughs> and you already know what Godzilla look like. But, you know, basically like, you know, like that, be, you know, don't be average. Be savage. Don't be, be quiet when you need to be speaking loud. Don't play safe and small when you need to be dreaming big and aiming big. You know, because you don't never know where it's going to unfold and take you to. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Farrah Hazard. Much love to you. JL, Baby Stag, much love as well. And um, Lorraine Brandon, much love to you as well. And um, our new, our new um, Soul Family Smart Relaxation, much love to you and welcome to the fam. If you're new, you know, welcome. It's so good to have you. I love the fact is even when I've been gone, you know, the, you know, the, the kind of orbness was that. I don't know if y'all just seen that or something just went that way and I felt like a gush going on. I don't know what the hell that was. But, uh, you know, just welcome. Just glad for you to be here. Um, it's like, even though I haven't been doing videos, you know, it's, it's just, it's been, you know, there's more people adding towards it. It's been consistent. So I'm glad that that could happen. So thank you for being here. I always leave my contact information in the description box below. You know, for you to be able to connect with me. You know, just to be able to have a spiritual network. You know, be able to get a deeper, you know, uh, uh, understanding of your purpose. Or even if there are certain things you want to share with me that you have experienced um, that may be seeming off the wall. I tell people I never, you know, I never make them feel like there are certain things you can't say because it may sound crazy or something like that because you never know. It's like when we're going through stuff, it's never normal. You know, it's not out the blue. Or you may not, you may not know there's a lot of us hail because that we're experiencing that. So I never allow anybody to feel that way. So it's just to be able to give them that deeper understanding and let you know that, hey, I'm here. You know, I'll help out the best way I possibly can. That's part of my purpose as well. You know, and whatever we speak on is confidential. And I help out the best way I can. You know, I also leave out, uh, I'll leave out. I leave, also leave my, my, uh, link to my podcast as well. To, um, my podcast on, uh, Spotify. I had a brain fart, my bad, y'all. Um, and y'all can be able to share it from there. And I'll also leave my cash app there if you ever felt generous enough to leave a donation. It'll be greatly appreciated. So whatever you're working on in your manis, you know, um, I, I'm giving out really prosperous, you know, uh, abundant vibes to be able to tell you that it's going to come so much bigger and better than you ever imagined. You know, you've been going through a lot of stuff and trust and believe universe got something very good for you. If you know you've been struggling, you've been going back to back to back and it just really feel like, you know, stuff ain't coming through and you're going to be that, that, that flower rolls through the concrete. Trust and believe that. And it's going to be quicker than you ever imagined. So stay consistent, be savage. Don't be average. You ain't here. You aren't hit, built here to be here like that. Because you build, you know, here to make more. So, see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace. Namaste.